What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George, for those of you that are new to the channel, and welcome to part two of the Watch Me Build a Lead Generation campaign for car dealerships using Facebook ads. So like I already mentioned in the previous video, in this video, we are basically going to set up the actual campaign. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Okay guys, and welcome back to part two of the Watch Me Build a Lead Generation campaign for car dealerships with Facebook ads ads so in the previous video all we done really was uh, you know i basically gave you guys an introduction into what we are going to do and i mentioned the facebook pixel and all the other necessities so in this video we are going to set up the campaign then in the following few videos we'll be setting up the ad sets and the actual ads okay so everything will be for a lead generation campaign uh, we're not going to be setting up any type of traffic or conversion campaign we're going to focus on the lead generation we're going to be using facebook's lead form for this so no click funnels either okay the reason for this is because i want to keep everything within facebook for the time being if we set everything up correctly we can also set up a click funnels uh, campaign alongside it and then basically compare the two um, how we would do that is probably a traffic campaign optimized for landing page views going to click funnels and on, then on click funnels we'd have uh, basically a lead form and then a thank you page um, which we could track as well and then over time well once we get enough registrations for that lead form we could also set up a conversion campaign optimized for complete registration but for now we will just focus on the facebook lead gen campaign if what i just mentioned went over your head or you're, you're new to this don't worry everything will be explained in due time so with a new ad account you can click on the create ad here if you already have ads set up or campaign set up all you need to do is click on that green button here so both of these buttons go to the same place click on create uh, we haven't left off anyway it's a new account um, and then you're basically brought to the objective page of Facebook now Facebook changes uh, their layout every single time some people still have the old layout some people have the new layout this is what the layout looks for me at the time of recording this on the left hand side you've got the campaign objective and then the next um, step is the the oh I need to create an ad account um, and then but the next step for you because this will be removed will be the ad set where you basically decide what audience you want to target where the placement is going to be is that Instagram is that Facebook is that the news feed is that the explore page etc then we can also set up our budget and scheduling and then in the third step you can you can choose the format so video or image the media so what kind of creative are you going to use and you can also add additional creatives set up your headlines etc okay so in terms of the campaigns um, more often than not you will either go for traffic conversion or lead generation okay these are the three most common objectives when setting up the ads almost no one starts with brand awareness or reach uh, reach list you just shows your advertisement to as many people as possible so also people that aren't interested now there's a lot of people mentioning that you always do conversions uh, because that is basically what you want so if you want conversions for purchases then you know you need to do conversions and then have a purchase pixel on the website and that is great and all but basically when you are starting out facebook does not know what kind of people convert for you okay it's not until you get at least a hundred purchases in my opinion that you can optimize for purchase there's even um you know very professional um high-end media buyers that say you should only do conversions when you're getting a hundred of those per week okay so let's say you get a hundred add to cart per week then you can run conversion ads optimize for add to cart if you get 100 pages per week then you can obviously do 100 uh, or you can optimize for conversions uh, for purchase okay other than that always go for traffic and then if you want a higher quality of traffic optimize for landing page views okay so rather than just for clicks you optimize for people that actually go onto the landing page okay now again if you're just starting out um, or you best just going through it in fact i can just quickly show you guys now so traffic campaign set up the ad account so this is the step that i mentioned that you guys will not have if you already have an ad account and um, this is just because this is a complete fresh account so continue then here at the bottom of the ad sets 
you can have either link clicks or landing page views, okay? So if you just want as many clicks on the website as possible, then optimize for link clicks, which is cheaper. But if you want a higher quality of traffic, optimize for landing page views, okay? Well, which will be a little bit more expensive, but as I mentioned, you know, the quality will be better, okay? We will be doing neither of this because we're not gonna do traffic. We're going to be doing a lead generation campaign. So start again, create new campaign, lead generation, okay? So for those that aren't familiar with lead generation, what you can do is you can drive more sales leads, such as email addresses from people interested in your brand or business. Okay, so the whole point of this is to capture leads within Facebook and then you can export them into an Excel sheet and then basically you have all the information, okay? What we want is, for example, their name, their telephone number, email address, and then maybe some information about what type of car they are trying to sell, okay? In terms of the campaign name, I just like to give it a um, like a specific name in terms of what kind of campaign it's going to be. So for this, we'll be targeting the UK. Um, for those that are working on ad accounts or you know with clients that have had media buyers previously, then obviously you can add like initials um, from your agency. So for example, we took over a um, a client from another agency a while back. And um, I think it was something like Yes Media or something like that. And they basically set up all the ads like this. So Yes Media underscore. Okay. And then we just continued by doing Brand Paneer underscore. Okay. But for this, obviously, it's a new account. So UK, um, we're going to be targeting um, or basically lead gen. And then we can do something like um, free quote. Okay. Usually, how I like to do this is. So location, campaign, and then here, um, provided that I make distinctions between ages and genders, I'll set that up here. So for example, we could do 1865 uh, male, okay? But for this, because this is gonna be an overall campaign, um, UK lead gen free quote is enough. In terms of the split testing, I like to do this myself. So you can you know help, or you can let Facebook set up a split test for you. Um, I think it's just much easier to do the split testing myself. In terms of campaign budget optimization, what Facebook will then do, if you keep this on, is uh, Facebook will basically decide which image and which ad set, so which audience, um, will probably get you the best results and then decide for you which um, you know which ad set will get the most of this 100 euro budget. So let's say we have a daily budget of 100 euros and we have five different audiences, then Facebook will not, with this on, Facebook will not give each ad set, so each audience 20 euros, no, it will decide for you which ad set will probably get you the best results and then give them 80% of the budget, okay? So we will be switching this off because I wanna see um, which audience, provides that they, you know, they get all the same amount of budget, gets us the most results, okay? So this will be switched off. And then as you could see, um, there was another little issue. So basically when you set up a new account, you will be limited to the amount you can spend. And um, so as you can see, I can only spend 22 euros a day, um, which is fine. You know, it's just something we have to deal with. Um, but obviously, you know, um, the more you set up ads and the longer you have your account, the more you can spend, okay? So like I said, campaign budget optimization will be turned off. I'll quickly set up the ad account, as you can see here. And then in the next video, we'll be setting up the audiences. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it very insightful. In the next video, we'll be going through the ad sets and I'm basically gonna show you how to select the right audience, how to set up the budget, etc. Okay, now if you think that you need a bit more help with this and you want my personal uh, coaching and guidance with your agency, you basically want me to take you on as a sort of client so I can basically push your agency to the next level. Um, I do offer coaching. If you want to enroll on that, the link will be in the description box down below. If you're unsure or you're on the fence about it or anything like that, or you just want to quickly chat uh, with me or anyone on my team just to see if we are a right fit for each other, you can also schedule a free discovery call. Again, it will be linked in the description box down below. Like this video if you got something out of it and subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you guys in the next part.